Today, I'm going to quickly show you how to create groups of references in Epi Reviewer and then assign them to people to code. I've logged into Epi Reviewer Web and I have 180 included references. I want to create 10 groups so that I can assign 10% to someone else to code. First, click on the Collaborate tab and then click on Create Reference Groups. If you haven't started coding yet, keep the Select From As It Is, No Code or Coding Tool filter. If you have started coding, you could select All Without Any Codes from this coding tool and then choose the coding tool, for example, Screen on Title and Abstract. Then, leave the percentage at 100 and choose the number of groups to create. In this case, I want to create 10, but you can choose any number. It is a great idea to create your groups under the Allocations Coding Tool and in particular in the stage where they will be used, for example, Screening Title and Abstract. Then click Create. If you expand the codes and then the Allocations Coding Tool, you will now see the new 10 reference groups listed under Screening Title and Abstract. It is important that you rename them something unique. To do this, click on Edit Tools, select the first group code and click on Edit Code. Change the name, for example, Group 1, Screen on TNA 10% and click Update. Do this for each group and then click Close Back. Now that you've created your groups, click on Create Coding Assignment. Choose the first group that you created under the Allocations Coding Tool. Choose the coding tool that you want the reviewer to code on and then choose the reviewer. Then click Assign. The new coding assignment has now shown up in the Coding Assignments panel and the reviewer can see that they have been allocated 18 and have 18 items remaining to code. If you click directly on the 18 remaining, you will be taken straight to those items. An easier way to access your coding assignments is to return to the review homepage and expand the My Work panel. Thanks for watching, and if you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to contact us via episupport at ucl.ac.uk.